Just Pierre, fresh off your battle against Mike G from Odd Future Wolf Gang here at Black Excellence 2. Talk to me, man. What you see out there? Yeah, I feel good, man. Some people calling it 2-1, some people calling it 3-0. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I, I felt good getting through my material. I felt like the people was really, really rocking with it. Uh, Mike G, you know, when you battling somebody, you can't really react. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you gotta, for sure. You gotta, know, keep your poise because I can sway the crowd. So I'm just sitting there like, he is talking to me. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I really want people to see this one. This was this was a fire battle. Uh, like I said, the consensus is either 2-1 or 3-0 uh, on my side. I just feel really good. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Did you cut the third round short because you felt like you were up two already? That's oh, for, yeah, that's, that's for y'all to see. Okay, out. okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. What's next, man? We got anything booked yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, Magnitude. Magnitude. Oh. Nice. This tournament going on. I'm excited about it. The battles is January 28th and 29th. Uh, I'm excited. I'm locked in. I already got my opponent. I'm about to just. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 10K on the line. Magnitude coming back for the first time in three years. What is it like for you to be a part of something that's historic like that that meant so much to the West after two seasons? Uh, it feels really good. I feel privileged. Like I'm, I consider myself like the new kid on the block. Like Definitely. everybody already know everybody, so I'm just itching on in, just 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 making a name for myself. So to be a part of this, like you're saying, with so much history on the West, I just feel good. Like you know, like sitting at the cool kids' table. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. It, it feels good. So. And ten thousand dollars isn't bad either. It ain't bad either. Not at all. Great performance today. If the people want to check out all your music and stay in touch with you with all of your business endeavors, where can they find you on social media? Uh, Google search Just Pierre, J U S T P I E R R E. All my stuff pop up Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. I got a song with Gita Gotti that's out. You know, why these blessings keep falling on me? You know, run them numbers up. Man, I just appreciate you. Appreciate the man behind the camera. Bad News Brown, you know what I'm saying? Always doing his thing. Always doing his thing. My man, we appreciate that so so much great battle out there can't wait to see you again Max. Yes, sir. right king malcolm jamal Meloazi, fresh off your battle at black excellence too talk to me mellow what'd you see out there man i had to get on bro i had to get on bro i ain't gonna hold you uh, yeah, he did. the first round i had to get on bro for real it was clear it was clear Bro had a had a had a wonderful second. Yeah. Second, the second. Yeah, second. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, he came back with some shit in that second. You feel me? Uh, the third, straight to me again. You know, okay. it's lit. You feel me? But bro showed up, did his shit. It was really lit. You know, he, he was comfortable. He definitely leveled up. I feel like. I definitely changed up my presence too. I felt I felt like I definitely uh, unlocked some shit. You feel me? I'm going upward. You know, it was, it was, it was a good one. That's that, that's what he saw. What did you see, Kick Belkin? Uh, well, the first round, he got that. He was he did his he did his shit on the first. Like I was I was I don't know what I was expecting. But that yeah. shit was crazy. He had already leveled up coming into the battle. So I was like, that's that's what's up. That's the kind of energy I need. You know? What I'm saying? Definitely. Like, the first round, I didn't I don't think mine was as strong. You know what I mean? I had I had some shit, but that second round, like I just felt like I had to come back. You know what I mean? Just push that one. And third <laughs> to me, it just it's a toss up. It's like I feel like it's pressure. Bit, you know what I mean? This this quickly went bad. from battling the bumper cars. How did we get there? <laughs> hey, so how it be like that? Because yeah? I'm behind. I'm not gonna say on camera, but just behind the scenes stuff. You know, Chippy, we can't yeah. agree on certain things. Yeah, facts. So there's some animosity <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna I'm stay professional. Yeah. <laughs> but we're professionals, right? That's yeah. Right. yeah. We came in here. We did what we did. Yeah. We know, yeah. but, I feel like it's. Really but we do down. have our disagreements. You uh, know? I know I Malcolm. Ma Ma Malcolm will really bring it yeah. out of you. I'm, I'm well aware. I, I know. We've had conversations before. So you know that's just <laughs> what it is. You know, but. See this cash one? Hey, that's important. Hey, go follow me. I'm Melo Ozzy, Mr. Get It Poppin'. That's okay. what's up. And I'm Cash at Keep It Steady Hustle. Okay. okay, cool. That's where the fans can support you at? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, shout out my nigga Hansel. My nigga Hansel, you already know. Gangsta things. Okay. Okay. You niggas know. I'm, I'm out here in the West, you know. I got, I got to get comfortable with it. Let's go. King oh, Malcolm. Comfortable. King Malcolm, if the fans want to support you, keep in touch with you. Where can they follow you? Drill, King MJ the first. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm Whitehead, the Jamal Whitehead on Facebook. Just come and follow me. I'm doing music and battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Follow me. You know what I'm saying? Follow me. Can I get a shout out for Bad News Brown TV? Bad News Brown TV, man. You better follow me. And definitely go over your Instagram one more time for me. 
my Instagram, you already know, Melawazi, Mr. Get It Poppin', you feel me? You Google me, search me everywhere, it's lit, you feel me? Twitter, Instagram, it's lit, you feel me? Bad News Brown shit, you feel me? TV, you know My man. Better subscribe, bro. Don't you know? subscribe, nigga, I'm a 30 <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Both these niggas suck, you know what I'm saying? It's Van B, look out for me, nigga. <laughs> King Leo, fresh off your battle with Prolific Rico at Black Excellence 2. Talk to me about it, man. Hey, man, it was, it was a battle. I feel like he for sure got me the second, 100%. Not even going, like, it's not even a debate. The first round, I feel like I edged it out. And then the third round, I mean, however people feel about that is how they feel. I'm not going to say I won and lost that because that, that round wasn't for battle rap. That was, I was more so for my sanity. Got you, got you, got you. That's what's up. A lot of pain in your bars this time around. Not to say that you're not known for doing that, but it seemed like that first and third, you went to another level with it with each one of them. Where's that coming from, man? Yeah, schematic. Uh, I love that. I love it. It was so DMX has done his music has done a lot and helped me through a lot of life and his birthday is tomorrow. And while writing this shit out, DMX always said, write that pain. So I wanted to bring that to this battle. I've never mentioned my mom in a battle before. So that, you feel me, I wanted to do that. I've never mentioned my, you feel me, suicidal thoughts or none of that. I've never mentioned the fact that I really don't got, like, you feel me, it's, I, I let it all out in this battle so that way nobody else can tell it to me, something that I already know. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, you said a statement. How did the battle with you and Rico come about? Was this some slap uh, uh, set up, or yeah, was it just yeah, like? Yeah, he had hit me up. It was supposed to be on uh, the class fights for November 26th, but then uh, too many battles canceled, so he put it on over here. And he had just, I, I think it was just like a uh, get me back into the SoCal scene type of battle. Because, you know, like, really, I wouldn't have took Rico just based off of the experience levels and shit. Right. But I'm like, come out here to SoCal, do some shit, and then next time, <laughs> get somebody that's you for me more on my experience level. I'm not gonna say my, you feel me, oh, I'm just the best, but I, I had damn near 10 years of experience in the game, over 70 battles. It's crazy, you have a lot of battles and you never know who watches what about your battle. I tell people all the time that I often go back and watch your back half of your round against Lucky where you tell the story of Sacramento Battle Rap. That's like one of my favorite things I ever witnessed in person. I try to make, nowadays I try not to write just rounds like, just I try to make sure it's something in them, something that that I can go back and look at and be like, all right, I got that off my chest. Cause I deal with a lot of shit and I keep a lot of shit in. So I feel like a lot of my rounds like that is just me venting more so than battle rapping, but I put it into a format to where the crowd can understand it and feel it too. Like tonight, I didn't expect, I didn't expect the the haggling from the I'm broke bars, but I super didn't expect even for people to walk up like, man, I, I want to go see my kids after hearing your third round or shit like mm -hmm. that. Like I didn't expect it. So it's two different sides of the spectrum. It's like, it always is, you feel me? But that's what I like to hear. Go ahead. Yeah, I was. I'm glad that I got it off, bro. Like writing it, rehearsing it, and memorizing. Like I didn't even rehearse my third the whole time I was here. Like I was, cause I, I couldn't. I lived like when I rehearsed it. When I wasn't here, I couldn't even hold back to. So like rapping, able to get through it all and everything like that. I, more proud of myself than I could, could ever be. Like, Definitely. Um, should we expect to see King Leo back down south a lot more, or at least uh, a couple yeah, times? Yeah, like they, if they come in to book me and if they get in travel, because I ain't gonna lie, coming out here was a bitch. You get back all the way to Sack and shit, so you feel me? Talk to me about traveling. Talk to me about paper. I've been doing this too long. I got too many kids to so keep doing this for free. You feel me? This is my last battle I'm doing. Every other battle I have booked is all for paper. I might have something in January. I might have something in April. I might have something in February. I can't talk about them yet because they ain't set in but you know once they set in I'm gonna start spread spreading the, the promo. Definitely. <laughs> Do you have any um merch or music you want the people to know about? Uh shit not right now but be so shit look out for them petty gang t-shirts real soon and uh shit, I, if you if anybody need a feature hit me trust me I'll go crazy with the 16s. Not too good with the with the choruses and shit but ah Jada kiss your, your features though off rip. <laughs> I heard it my man if we want to keep in touch with you on Instagram where can we find you? Uh, capital G you spell out capital C A P I T A L G underscore petty gang or follow me or add me on Facebook at Leo G Sims and then yeah 
are. And I just made an Instagram the other day to uh, get on the space and shit you was doing. So Petty Gang Leo at Instagram. You feel me? My man, Leo, great performance out there, man. Good to see you back.